Welcome back everyone, it's Twilight Guardian with another video on my Journey to Learning Japanese series. I'm doing a video on the website Wanikani, as I've seen a lot of general confusion on how the site works, both from new users and from personal friends from whom I'm trying to explain it to. So this is hopefully a helpful overview of the website and the sorts of concepts it deals with. Wanikani is what I mainly focus on since I decided to start learning last year. I was told to focus on my weaknesses. Well, one of the things that would be the most difficult for me would be the kanji. Wanikani is a kanji learning website that solely focuses on teaching you most of the 2,000 most commonly used kanji, and many of the words that are made up from them. It is meant for people who are just a little ways away from starting out. More advanced or intermediate learners will probably find themselves a little bored toward the beginning, as the website isn't split between beginning and advanced users. Nor is it good for a refresher on your kanji. However, it does have a basic requirement that you must know some Japanese in order to use it. What you need to know is how to read hiragana and katakana. Hiragana is the main system used for writing individual characters in Japanese. Katakana is primarily used for foreign loanwords and onomatopoeia. Wanikani focuses on hiragana with the readings in hiragana for you to read. Even if your hiragana is rusty, you'll eventually become acclimated if you use the site regularly. Katakana on Wanikani doesn't not exist, but possibly the most items featuring katakana you'll see can be counted on one hand. I tried learning through repetition, writing the individual characters down one at a time, repeating the character for a whole page before moving on. It is a slow and arduous process that would take days. Even then, I still wasn't completely sure that I was fully memorizing them. A mixture of flashcards, Tofugu's pages on mnemonics for the hiragana and katakana, and Usagi-chan's drag-and-drop games eventually cemented both of them fairly well in my mind especially the game. Four hours of playing the game, resting and resuming with a fresh mind, I was able to recognize the character so well I could finish it in under a minute. Once you've learned to read hiragana and katakana, you can move on to wanikani. So what is wanikani? Put simply, wanikani is an online tool for the self-student to learn how to read kanji. It uses a combination of mnemonics and spaced repetition system to help you memorize kanji and kanji-related vocabulary with as little effort as possible. The lessons and reviews can be found in little circles at the top of the page. The icon with the patron deity, the almighty Crabigator, can take you back to the home page. Okay, so what the heck does this site do? It gives you radicals, kanji, and vocabulary, called turtles, to review over and over again until you've memorized them so well you'll need to never look at them ever again. This process takes about six months for each turtle. It first starts with radicals. Okay, slow down. Why are you calling things turtles? What are radicals, I hear you say? Turtles are what we generally call our learning items, apart from just calling them items or reviews. The website uses a story on how the Chinese created the written language by burning turtle shells, and juxtaposing that to what we're learning. Vocabulary on Wanikani is what we call the words that kanji can be a part of, either on their own, paired with other kanji, or with hiragana. Since Japanese doesn't correlate with English, there needed to be a distinct word to separate from the kanji that we'd be learning, as well as the section to help teach alternate readings of singular kanji that may also appear in the words featuring that kanji. Radicals are the pieces that make up the kanji. Wanikani uses a combination of real Japanese radicals and customized radicals made specifically to help with the learning process. They do this to help make stepping stones on your way to learning both kanji and vocabulary. The radicals themselves may or may not have a genuine meaning in Japanese, but for Wanikani, they give them a meaning to help create silly mnemonics that you'll be sure to remember. Hopefully. Sometimes a radical will be a partial that will only make up a third or half of something else. 
other times a radical will make up a whole kanji by itself. After you've gone through the lessons, your turtles will be put into the review queue. The reviews afterwards will go on a timely basis, with each item answer correctly being put back into your review queue at the next tier and will show up less and less. Items answered wrong will fall back a tier, unless at the bottom tier, and will show up after the same amount of time it took since the last time you answered correctly. The levels are Apprentice, Guru, Master, Enlightened, and Burned. There are four Apprentice tiers, two Guru tiers, a Master tier, and an Enlightened tier, and Burned is your end goal. Radicals will show up as SRS level 1 Apprentice in four hours. If you get the answer wrong, it will come around again in four hours. If you do it right, the turtle will advance to SRS level 2 and show up in eight hours, then 23 hours, then two days. Kanji and vocab, however, will queue for three days. Coming around again, your item will level up to the Guru item, where it will disappear and be gone for one to two weeks. Master items will be gone for one month, and enlightened items will be gone for four months. All in all, you'll take a journey with each individual item for six months. Burning your turtle means that you should know it pretty well. Your understanding is now so good that you should be able to recall that item without any troubles. You'll never have to see it again. When a radical gets gurued for the first time, kanji relating to that radical will be unlocked in your lessons, and this is how you progress. You need to guru 100% of your radicals for the level and 90% of your kanji in order to advance to the next level. When you guru your kanji, you will unlock the vocabulary relating to that kanji. The vocab will not be unlocked unless everything relating to that kanji has been learned and gurued. Therefore, you should have a cursory understanding by the time you get to them. After that, it's all a matter of memorization and which readings. What do I mean by readings? Kanji are characters adopted from Chinese. They can have multiple ways of reading that kanji, and how it is read isn't static like English words. So far, there are four types of ways to read a kanji on Wanikani. The onyomi, the kunyomi, the jukugo, and rendaku. Onyomi means that you are using a Chinese reading of the kanji. Kunyomi means that you are using a Japanese reading of the kanji. Jukugo means that you have a compound word. Normally, it's a safe bet that you're dealing with a jukugo when you're using the onyomi reading. Rendaku is when certain hiragana or katakana are to be read like their alternate readings. Ka becomes ga, he becomes be or pe, so becomes zo, and so on. When learning a new kanji, one kani will give you the reading that is most commonly used with that kanji. Slowly, as you see more vocabulary, you'll learn the slightly more uncommon uses for that kanji. It can be confusing at times, but the mnemonics are there to try and help you remember which one to use. They don't always work, but you can add your own if you feel the ones that are given just aren't working for you. You can do this by going to the items page and writing one in, or write it while it's still up for review. Wanikani will seem slow at first. Trust me, we know. We very much know. But fear not! Now that Wanikani is out of beta, the first two levels are accelerated. That means that they go faster than the other levels. Back when Wanikani was still in beta, all the levels took an average of 8 days to complete. But the accelerated levels will be finished under 4 days. All of the other levels will take the average day 8 days minimum. However, it isn't uncommon to see a more average 9 to 11 days and even 2 weeks to complete a level. So far, there are four groupings of levels on Wanikani, starting with Pleasant beginning the first grouping. This is where a lot of people complain about the slow progression of the site, but Wanikani builds up itself as you work to go through. The more you do well, the more lessons you get, the more reviews you'll have. It quickly piles up, especially with a minimum of 30 kanji and 100 vocabulary items per level. Painful grouping will start to feel more accurate by the time you reach level 11. 
From there, the Death, Hell, and Paradise groupings all give a rather spiritual feel to your learning, not unlike the passions gods of old went through. Reality is the final grouping of levels, at a little while before one Wanikani opened to the public. There is also a form where you can interact with other members of Wanikani. You'll find like-minded individuals who like learning and who are committed to learning Japanese. You can find many resources in the forums to help your study work better for you. Wanikani itself is open to modifications. There is an entire section dedicated to creating add-ons to the site to help make using it easier. Some additions must be used with caution, however. If abused, they can hurt your memorization and progress, and destroy what the SRS is trying to do. Other features of Wanikani include looking at your progress and future items you'll learn and when. It's a fun and inspiring way to see how far you've come, and how much you've learned, and what items you may have problems with. Next up, I'll have updates on Wanikani and other progresses. After that, I'll talk a little more in depth about the add-ons and the websites created by users to help make Wanikani a better learning experience. Thank you all for continuing to follow me through this journey, and I will see you in the next video.